Hi everybody, this is Tom Terrence, author of the book 17 Critical Mistakes You Must Avoid That Can Ruin Your Taxi Business, founder of Cab Millionaire Club and author and publisher of Cab Millionaire Club Letter. And in this video, I'd like to talk to you about how to make the phone ring, which is the most popular question that I get from taxi business owners from all over the world. So the question is how do we make the phone ring? As you can tell um, my visual art skills are not very good obviously. Um, so let's talk about it. And uh, the way this question is usually asked, right, how do I make the phone ring, is as if the phone is some magical subject that's out there in your office, but nobody knows when it rings or how it rings or what happens. And so if we do not look at what happens, then we will not be able to find the answer to this question. And in order to be able to make it ring, we need to see why does it ring and where do calls come from? And so if we take a look and see why does the phone ring, the, the answer is pretty obvious, right? It's because people are calling you. So the next question then is who's calling you? And so when we take a look at who's calling you, we'll see that there are basically three groups of people that are calling you. So one is prospects. So those are people that are calling you to inquire about how much does it cost to get usually from point A to point B or somebody who just has questions but who is not ordering a taxi. So the second group of customers um, is new customers. And those are the people that are calling your taxi company for the first time. And the third one uh, is old customers, old or current customers. And uh, those are people that use your taxi service on a regular basis. Somebody who, say, goes to a train station from their home all the time uh, in the morning and at night they go back from the train station home. Or somebody who's traveling on business a lot and so they go to the airport and back from the airport. Those are current customers, customers that you know. And so the answer to the question, how do we make the phone ring, uh, is simple. We increase the amounts of people in these three categories. We increase the number of prospects, uh, conversion of them into new customers, and we increase the number of times that old or current customers use your taxi service. So let's talk a little about how all of it can be done. So let's start with prospects. What can we do with prospects? With what we want to do with prospects is convert them into new customers. So what you'd like to do ideally is get the contact information from the prospect. So it can be their uh, mailing address or their phone number or at least their email so that you could follow up with them. Because what happens is that if somebody is calling you, it means that you paid for that phone call, right? Because you either posted an ad somewhere or you did something to trigger that action. And which means that once it happens, you'd like your prospects to convert to new customers. And so the way to do it is to capture their information. That's what your goal should be with this very uh, group of potential customers. Because if you do get their information, then you keep, can keep marketing to them until eventually they do become first new customers and then they become old or current customers. So when it comes to new customers, what can we do? Um, let me erase this phone picture thingy.
So what can we do when it comes to new customers? And obviously we want to have a lot of new customers, so we want to have more new customers. And uh, well, we got to advertise more and we got to advertise more effectively. So when most new clients come to me uh, and first start working with me, just get my book or become members of Cab Millionaire Club and Cab Millionaire Club letter, I need a new marker because this one isn't working. Okay, let's take a look at this one. Now, of course, it's not gonna work either. Okay, this one is working. So, how and where do you get new customers? And usually, as I was saying, when taxi business owners come to me first, Usually what they have is they have yellow pages. They usually have Valpac, um, Penny Saver, and sometimes maybe, maybe they have a website. So that's it. That's, that's all they have. And what happens is that they also do not track where customers are coming from. So what happens is that since they're not tracking, they're spending money on everything. And some of these sources are not going to be bringing you customers. And so you need to be tracking where customers are coming from. Because if you know, for example, that a lot of customers are coming from Penny Saver, but very few are coming, say, from Valpac. Then you can stop spending money on Valpac and you can start increasing the number of ads in Penny Saver, and that will increase the number of customers. But in order to do that, you need to track and measure. And how to do that, I'll explain you a little later in this video. So, but let's get back to this list. Well, first of all, what you need to know is that this list is very very small and it can be made much bigger so um, there are four items here so item number five would be social media well the social media it depends where you are in the country where you are in what city in what town and uh, the number of younger uh, clients that you have in their 20s 30s but if your customers are older in their 50s or in their 60s then you do not need to be doing social media but in addition to social media what else you can do how else can you get new customers you can have a referral program where old customers are bringing you new customers and that would be a ref and get some bonus points, some brownies, cookies, whatever. There are a ton, there's a ton of options here. So that would be a referral program. Number seven, what, what else you can have is you can have a partnership program. Partnership program. And you can work together with... Uh, bars, you can work together with restaurants. Uh, some of my clients also work with auto repair stations, because body shops, because what usually happens at auto repair stations and body shops, people leave their cars there for some time, right? So they do not have transportation. So they need, but they still need to be getting places. And so if you make a partnership, if you create partnerships with all those places, then you can become a provider of rights for people without cars, who, but, who, but people who have money because their cars are in the repair, they need some rides while it's in repair, so you can be the guy giving them rides. If we take, uh, so it's gonna be body shops, body shops, uh, auto repair stations. Next one is bars, right? Um, obviously, people go to bars to drink, so they should not be driving. Uh, next one is restaurants. To restaurants, people often drive, but again, you could partner up with a restaurant so that you'll be taking people to the restaurant and from the restaurant. 
and people can drink there. And restaurants would be really interested in that because the margins that and the amount of money that they make on booze is higher than the amount of money that they make on food. So that's, that is something that restaurants would really be interested in. So we have this. Then we have, what else do we have? We have other newspapers. So if, say, Penny Saver is bringing you results, then you could try other newspapers. Then number nine would be TV, number ten would be radio, uh, number eleven would be sponsorships. And often you can sponsor a team or a, say middle school football team or some kind of event for very little money and you can get a lot of new customers. And so that's the way those are just some of the ways to get new customers and if you want more ways to get new customers then you should get my book and read my newsletter and check all all the stuff that I have on the website because it has a lot of useful information in regards to all those ways but now we're gonna get to some old and current customers well actually there's some space here so I can do it here so how can we have old customers and current customers of your taxi service coming back to you more often? And th the thing number one that you can and should do is a loyalty program. Program. Right? Right. So that when they come back to you more often, they get some points, they get some rewards, so that they have an incentive to be coming back more often to your taxi company and they do not have an incentive to use your competition because if they're gonna go and use your competition then they're not gonna get points and they're not gonna get to the reward that they really want to get. So then uh, you can do discounts uh, which is not something I recommend but uh, it still could be done. So number three is uh, packaging of different rides, packaging uh, slash round trips. And that is something that for some reason uh, most taxi services do not do, but when somebody's going say to the airport, right, we know that they're going to be coming back. So what we want to do is we want to actively sell the person the fare on the way back when they're booking the fare going to the airport so that we'll sell them a round trip because what will happen if we do that we increase the rate at which old and current customers are coming back to our taxi service and so those are just a few things that we can do to have old and current customers coming back to our taxi company now look at this if you do this and think about think about what I draw before, think about that phone. If we do all this, the phone will start ringing. So the answer to these questions, how and to that very question, how do we make the phone ring, is we start tracking, we start measuring, and we start including then we start increasing the number of channels through which we get new customers. That's the way to make the phone ring. Now, um, the next question that you may have is, you know, how do we do it? How do we know what works and what doesn't? And so I now want to talk a little about how to be creating your advertising so that you can be sure that something works or something doesn't work so that you do not keep spending money on stuff that doesn't work but only invest in stuff that works in stuff that brings you a positive return on investment in the stuff that increases the number of customers that you have in your taxi service uh, so let me erase all of this some water. 
Do I have some water in here? I do. Okay, so I've cleared the upper half of the board and I kept this one. Why did I keep it? Because here's what I want to explain you now. Suppose you have several of those things, right? And that's what I was talking about before, how most of taxi business owners, when they become Cab Millionaire Club members, when they start working with me, when they buy my book and invest, in my high-end programs, they usually have three, four, two, three, four, five ways of getting customers. But the problem that happens with most of them is that they will have three, four, five ways, but they still do not know where customers are coming from. So they know that they're spending money on these five things. But when I ask them, so which ones are working and which ones aren't, which ones are working better than others, I usually do not get an answer. I get silence as an answer. And uh, you need to know what's working and what's not working. So how do you make it work? And uh, there are a few simple rules that you need to be using in order to see what's working or what's not. First, every ad should have an offer. Now, if every ad that you do has an offer, then you can create different offers for different ads. Say you have yellow pages, and for yellow pages you can do an offer $1 off. For Valpack you can do an offer $2 off. For Penny Saver you can uh, give, I don't know, um, a pack of Skittles as a free gift for the website you can do some other kind of offer and so what will happen if you do that you'll know where people are coming from so that you'll be able to track and count how many people are you getting from yellow pages how many people are you getting from Valpack and how many people are you getting from Penny Saver so if the offers are different, if people are bringing you coupons, you'll immediately be able to tell what's going on. But that's not it. What can you do to your ads? How can you approve, uh, improve them? So the second rule for every ad should be that there will be a reason to respond. or a deadline. Because what happens with most uh, ads in the taxi business, what happens with most of your competitors' ads? They are fundamentally business cards. They say, hey, uh, we are such and such taxi service, we offer cars, we offer limos, we'll take you to the airport, we'll take you to the grocery store, blah, 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 blah. And that's it. And so when, it, when a prospect reads it or a potential customer reads it, they wouldn't do anything. There's nothing interesting, nothing special, 
and there's no call to action in this that ad. So whatever, whenever you do something, let's take the simplest example. Let's say we're doing one dollar off, but we're doing one dollar off until that and that date, and you need to hurry up because something will happen. Or say when you're gonna use our taxi service for the first time, when again, when again, we are going to give you a bag of Skittles, right? But we only have a hundred bags of Skittles. So you'd better hurry up and call us today to reserve your ride because if you don't then we'll be out of candy and you will not get your candy. So that's the second rule that you should be implementing in all of your advertising. There needs to be a reason to respond right now. So the third rule that you should be using uh, in your advertising is clear instructions. on how to respond. And that's another mistake that many taxi business owners do when creating their advertising, is that there will be something, there will be a coupon, right? But that's it. It's like, okay, there's a five dollar of coupon, but what am I supposed to do with it? Am I supposed, if I am, if I'm your customer, am I supposed to mention about it to your dispatcher? Am I supposed to give it to your driver? Am I supposed to hold to it? Uh, what am I supposed to do? And uh, one of the things that you should know and you should understand is that confused customers do not come to you. They do not spend money. They do not buy. So you want to be always precise, always crystal clear when it comes to your advertising and when you're offering something, you also want to tell people what to do with that offer. Hey, you know what? Uh, it's a $5 off coupon. You got to bring the coupon to the driver. You got to mention it on the phone. So you tell people what to do so that they have clear instructions on what to do with the offer that you're giving them. Um, so, number four, the fourth rule when it comes to advertising for a taxi service is measure the response. Because what you'll see is that the response will be different. As I was saying before, you'll be getting different responses, different percentages, different numbers of fares from different customers that come from different sources. And so, if say in Yellow Pages you got 10 customers and from say your website you are getting zero customers, what you should do is you should allocate more money to advertising in yellow pages versus advertising on the website. And once you start measuring which ad is bringing how many customers, you'll immediately see that they work differently and that will give you a lot of information, a lot of thought, and that's the way to improve your marketing and improve, improve your customer flow. So, and, Risa, and rule number five when it comes to advertising and getting new customers is follow-up. So, when somebody is taking a taxi to the airport when they are going on vacation, chances are they go on vacations on a regular basis. And chances are they need transportation on a regular basis. And so, do not wait for them to just call you back. You need to be proactive about it. You need to call them and you need to make sure that you talk to them. You make sure that they like your taxi service and you also want to know when they're going to go on vacation next time. And so, one of the simplest ways to do, and uh, I help my clients with it also, is to have a newsletter for your taxi company. And one of the services I offer to my Cat Millionaire Club members is a done-for-you newsletter that you can be sending to your customers on a regular basis so that they remember about you, they are aware that you're out there, that you exist. And it's actually a very cheap and efficient way to keep in touch with your customers. And if you get 
some big fish, right? Somebody who say um, has a wedding and they book all your taxes for a few days to get guests from the airport to the hotel, from the hotel to the reception place, country club or whatever that may be, from then from the country club back and then from the hotel back to the airport. What you want to do, again, you want to follow up and you want to say thank you and you want to give some gift to people. You, The very least that you should do is show people that you appreciate their business. Because what happens with most taxi companies, with most taxi services, right? Customers will call, they will get a ride, that's it. You've forgotten about them. You've forgotten about them, you do not do anything to thank them, you do not do anything to proactively seek business, and yet that's what the majority does. They will sit and wait for the phone to ring. And that's not the way to go. The way to go is to be proactive and to follow up. And if you do all of these things and all of these things, then tens of thousands of my customers prove it. That your phone will be ringing pretty much non-stop. Um, this was Tom Terrence with TaxiBusinessAdvice.com. I hope you found this information really useful. And if you want some specific examples of how all this stuff works, you need to go to the website and you need to subscribe to my Cab Millionaire Club letter and become a member of my Cab Millionaire Club because this newsletter every month has examples of not all of them obviously not every month because th otherwise it would be that sick but every month it has a few examples a few strategies that you can go and implement in your taxi business to make this baby ring and be bringing you more money um, I hope you found this video really useful um, if you want me to if you want me to answer any other questions, uh, feel free to email me. My email is listed in the contact section on the website. Uh, feel free to post comments below this video. And uh, I'll see you soon and I'll see you inside of Cat Millionaire Club. Bye.